Hi, I'm student meteorologist Damon Matson here at the Cal U Weather Center here to give you your weather on the web. Let's take a look at your weather headlines for this week. It's going to get a little windy tonight and into tomorrow, so hold on to your hats. You don't want to lose those. And we got some late week snow moving into the area Thursday into Friday, so some slick roads watch out on your way home or wherever you are going this weekend. And we have a possibility, could there be a cold weekend in our forecast? We're going to check that out for you as we go along here. We take a look at the Almanac yesterday, 42 for the high, 26 for the low. As you can see there, not too far from our normal, so we're right where we should be this time of year. Sunrise, 657 today, and the sunset should be around 6 o'clock, so we're getting more daylight every day, getting towards springtime and spring break. I know we all can't wait for that. Should be a fantastic time. And we take a look at local temperatures. We got 36 in Pittsburgh, 34 in Wheeling, and then up near my hometown, 33 in Dubois. So everybody right around the mid 30s. And that's right again where we should be for this time of year. And we take a look at your departures from yesterday. Again, a little colder out east here, but for the most part, everybody is staying just about where they should be from yesterday. And then we take a look national temperatures. Again, mid 30s up here in the northeast and we go to the south 43 in memphis 49 in atlanta so it's starting to cool down out there and that's because we got some cold air out in the midwest here that's moving in should bring those snow showers along with it and there's the change from yesterday for everybody negative minus 15 compared to yesterday in memphis so it's a lot colder down in the southeast but again for the most part everybody staying just about normal and there's your radar again right here in Missouri. We have that low pressure moving towards our east. That's bringing a lot of this rain throughout the east coast, the Carolinas and up into our area now. And then on the back end here, there's the snow in Iowa and Missouri. That should be moving into our area this week. And we zoom in now on Pittsburgh. We got the wintery mix moving in West Virginia, Virginia border. That's going to start moving into our area. There it is moving up into Johnstown right now. But for the most part, Cal area and around Pittsburgh, we're going to stay with the rain. No wintery mix for us. And there's, again, more defined radar image. A lot of that rain is starting to move up to our north now. And as you can see down to our south, we have another batch of rain moving in. That should be coming into tonight, into tomorrow. So watch out for that. And your future cast for the precipitation, again, the heavier stuff today and into tomorrow. We'll have a little bit of back end moisture moving in Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to be those snow showers we're expecting. But once we move into the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, dry air is going to move in. It's going to cool down. But other than that, we don't have any worries moving into the weekend. So enjoy. And we take a look now at your forecast for tonight. We got a low of 37 with that chance of that rain moving through. And then tomorrow, the temperature warms up a little bit to 44. We have a little bit of a mix, so the roads might be a little slick, so watch out coming onto campus. And tomorrow night, again, it's going to cool down to right around freezing, which is going to cause that rain and snow to mix once again. Again, slick conditions. And there it is again tomorrow, wintery mix around 44. Thursday and Friday, we have mid-30s with some snow showers. And then this weekend, we're going to have cooler temperatures right around 30 degrees. But for the most part, it's going to be dry, so enjoy that this weekend. And I'm Damon Matson, student meteorologist, and that is your weather on the web.